Hello and welcome to Mortality with me. Today I'm going to talk about top causes of death in the United States. And to keep it simple, I'm just going to do by count of deaths, uh, not doing any rates other than looking at the percentage increase of the total deaths year over year. I have finalized death counts by cause of death from 2018 to 2021. So I have two pre-pandemic years and two during the pandemic years that we can compare. So just top 10 causes, this is using the rankable groupings. And I'll talk a little bit about what are in these rankable causes of death. Um, so if we look at 2018 and 2019, a lot of these causes, and you'll see I kind of color coded them, I'm using a uh, color scheme called Morgenstern. This comes from the Met Brewer palette. Uh, this is from an artist via the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And you'll see it goes heart disease, then cancer. So you'll, you'll notice like, so there's lots of different kinds of heart disease. Those are all grouped together. Lots of different kinds of cancer. Those are all grouped together. Then accidents. And of course, there's lots of different kinds of accidental causes of death. You may think of like drowning, uh, motor vehicle accidents, accidental drug overdoses, falls of usually seniors. So those are the kinds of things that would fall under accidents. Then number four is chronic lower respiratory disease. So stuff like emphysema. So some respiratory diseases in there for number four. And now you're you're listening to these number one, two, and four, and then number five, stroke, and then six, Alzheimer's, and then seven, diabetes, eight. Okay, and we finally get something that's different between 2018 and 2019 when we get to eight, but we'll we'll get to that in a moment. But when we go one through seven, other than number three, most of these causes of death, you'll be thinking this is mainly what old people die of. Well, there's a reason for that. Most of the people who die are old. And so the causes of death that they die from are going to dominate these ranking tables in general. I'll do a future video where I go through, and I've done in the past, where I do it by age groups. And you'll see that these rankings change quite a bit depending on age groups. So what we see here for the heart disease is number one, and then cancer, that doesn't hold at all ages. Obviously children, it's going to look very different. Uh, young adults, extremely different. Uh, middle age, working age adults, you know, middle age looks very different. And then, and this is even pre-pandemic of course, and then seniors and much older people are going to look very different. So most of these top causes of death in the pre-pandemic years and actually during the pandemic as well, it's going to be dominated by the causes of death that mainly kill old people. Most of these deaths, most of these 2.8 to 2.9 million deaths that we saw before the pandemic were of old people. Um, at number eight in 2018, we see flu and pneumonia. And we see that came in at number nine in 2019. Well, that's because of when did we have bad flu seasons? Well, at the end of 2017, going into the beginning of 2018, was a bad flu season. You may not remember it because, of course, the pandemic may have obliterated your memory of that. So flu and pneumonia deaths were higher then, and you'll see that. It's about 10,000, well, you know, maybe not 10,000, but like 9,000, 9,500 higher than what we saw in 2019. When we talk about flu seasons, we usually go starting around, I think, October 1st or maybe September 1st when we talk about seasons and we don't really do it by year. In any case, the 2017 into 2018 flu season was bad. And then the uh, 2018 into 2019, so going from fall 2018 into over the winter into spring of 2019 flu season, actually wasn't so bad uh, for flu. 
you still get a lot of older people dying from pneumonia during the winter, whether or not you have bad flu season or not. Okay, and so then you can see kidney disease had about the same number of deaths in both 2018 and 2019. It just changed its ranking because there's volatility to the number of flu and pneumonia deaths you get. And we'll also see in 2020, we have a flu and pneumonia death count that kind of splits the difference. And of course, if we think about it, maybe some of those flu and pneumonia deaths actually were COVID deaths that weren't detected as COVID. Not sure. Um, and then, yeah, I'm sorry, it's depressing. Suicide, number 10. That's not necessarily a top cause of death for old people, though um, when I do a future video on suicide trends, you'll see that it actually is higher for at least older men compared to younger men. You just don't notice it because so many other things are killing older men more than suicide is. Okay, so that's suicide down there at number 10. And you can see it's about the same number both years. So now let's get into the pandemic era of 2020 and 2021. So first thing I'll notice for the total number of deaths from 2018 to 2019, uh, deaths went up 1% between those two years. And in general, we've had this balancing over the years where death rates may have been going down, but because the population is aging, the number of deaths have been going up. So, you know, going up by like 1% or 2% in a year. Well, between 2019 and 2020, total number of deaths went up 19%. Yeah, that's a lot. And yes, it's because of COVID. So what we saw is COVID, you know, shouldered its way into the ranking table at number three. And you can see it stayed at number three in both 2020 and 2021. Take a look at the number of deaths. Okay, so heart disease and cancer. If you look at their ranking, they stay at the same ranking level. But if you look at the number, heart disease actually went up by quite a bit between 2019 and 2020 and stayed about that level in 2021, just by count. Uh, cancer didn't really move very much. And once we get into looking at rates, it basically didn't move at all uh, with regards to what we're seeing in response to pandemic. It doesn't seem to have really moved. Yeah, it does seem to have gone up some in 2021, and maybe there are specific cancers that were affected. I don't know. It's not much of a response, though. But you can see COVID really came in there uh, like a wrecking ball. Um, underlying cause of death. So I do want to be clear about this. All of these are about underlying cause of death. There's one and only one in each death certificate for a death. I'm not double counting any deaths in this ranking table. Um, so if someone died of cancer and that was on their death certificate as of dying of cancer, and maybe they tested positive for COVID, on their death certificate, it might have been listed as a contributing cause of death. But for my ranking table, so I pull all this data directly from the database that's based on the death certificates and aggregated and yada yada, um, I did not include these contributing causes of death, just the underlying cause of death. So that may be, if you've been looking at numbers yourself, why my numbers for COVID deaths for 2020 and 2021 may be lower than what you've seen, because I'm not counting those where it was contributing. I'm not double counting anything. So there you go. Um, you'll see accidents went up by quite a lot. And that's not just there's drug overdoses and there was motor vehicle accidents that went up. You can see it went up by a lot in 2020, and it went up by a lot again in 2021. Um, for stroke, stroke went up by a lot in 2020, and it remained at that elevated level in 2021. For chronic lower respiratory disease, this is kind of interesting. It went down. It went down in 2020, not by a huge amount, but it went down by a lot. In 2021. Something to look at. Alzheimer's. This is interesting. This went up. So you see it's about 120 
thousand, one hundred twenty thousand. Then it went up by a lot. And think about what age people die of Alzheimer's disease in 2020. And then it went back down to about 120,000 in 2021. Diabetes, let's look. It's in, you know, 85,000, 88,000. Then it went up to over 100,000 and stayed above 100,000 in 2021. So, you know, tracing these numbers, pick a cause of death, it's not merely the number that it was seventh and then eighth. It's like, look at the actual number of deaths. This is how I look at this if I'm just looking at the count. Now, as an actuary, generally I'm not looking at the count of deaths. I'm looking at the rate, but that will be for a future video. So flu and pneumonia, 59, then down to 49 because bad flu year, not so bad flu year then, you know, middling flu year, and then it's not on the top 10 for 2021. That's for another time. Suicide got pushed off because we have kidney disease, you see, it's, you know, kind of went up a little bit, but not by a lot. And then liver disease uh, came inching its way in, in 2021. So when COVID came in, so pushed things down on the ranking table. And remember, when you do a ranking table, it's a discrete table, but these are all in relation to each other. So you can see like kidney disease, it's at about the same level, it went up a little bit, but even though it went up a little bit, it got pushed down the ranking table. So something to think about. Um, I'll do more detailed by age group and count. I'll do rates, not for this ranking table because you'll get about the same um, I mean, you'll get the same number when I do rates. So that's not a big deal. It doesn't change much in terms of the population year over year. Um, so that's not going to tell you much necessarily. Uh, to see the rates change a lot, you have to look over a longer period of time. Um, so I'll do future videos for you to see, and then you know you can interpret these better or learn how to interpret these uh, and get some more meaning out of this. So. Talk to you all later.